In last lesson, we've covered the percentage and dimensions to make our screens responsive. But sometimes we need to add numeric values and we cannot do this using percentage or dimensions. So we have another choice and this choice is installing a library for handling responsive responsibility of screens. Let me show you. But first, let's clean up this code. Let's remove this and remove this also and remove this. And let's make this height, for example, 600 and the width 300 and press save. Now let's install a package called React Native Size Matters. This is the GitHub page of the library. If we scroll down, we get a lot of information. Now let's install this library using this command npm install react native size matters so let's go to our terminal and open a new terminal and just type npm install the name of the package when we press enter we're gonna install this library to our app and we after install this library we can use this the functions of this library let me show you let's press enter now the library is installed but to make sure we need to rerun our apps again npm start and let's press i to run ios and wait now how to use this library it's pretty easy when you want to import something from react native you just type import this thing from react native to use this library is the same import from react native size matters that's the name of the library we can import a couple of functions that's gonna help us first function is scale the second function is vertical scale this is scale to make screens responsive in the horizontal axis and vertical scale make our ui responsive in the vertical axis okay let me show you if you can see the width of this view, this space here is bigger than here because this is iPhone 16 Pro Max is bigger than iPhone 16. So this space is bigger than this space and this is cause an issue. Look, so instead of type 300, you just use this function, scale function. Just copy scale and open two parentheses and put the 300 inside it. Okay, and press save. Now, if you see, you're gonna notice that the width of this view is equal to the width of this view, as you see. Now, let's go to the height. If you, if you see, you're gonna notice this. This height is bigger than this height. Why? Because this iPhone 16 and it's smaller than iPhone 16 Pro Max. How to make them equal? We're gonna use the vertical scale function. Just copy it and put the 600 between it. Now let's press save and see. Look, now the spaces are equal. This is space equal this is space and this is space is equal this is space. Despite those devices, screen dimensions are not the same, but the UI here is equal to the UI here and it's gonna be the same UI in all devices, even Android or another iPhones or another or any device. If you think those two functions are, are bigger to write, this package allows us to use shortcut for them. For example, scale you can import S and VS. This S is a shortcut for scale and this VS is a shortcut for, for vertical scale. If you just replace this VS with vertical scale here and replace this S with scale here and press save nothing is gonna happen because this s is working as scale and this vs is working as vertical scale no differences now if you open your app and go to package.json you're gonna notice that this package is installed any installed package here inside this dependencies you can use for example you can use react to, um, to import the hawks we're gonna talk about hawks later 
you can use react native to import react native component and here you can use react native size matters to import those function that's responsible for handling responsibility of ui to make our ui match all screen dimensions in all devices and appear at the same 